here is what you need to know weather-wise. It's going to get better over the next few days. Okay, I was wondering where we're going to go. And it's about <laughs> time because I think everybody's sick of the rain at this point. We have had more rain over the last few yeah. days than we know what to do with in some places. Lots more in some places, yeah. Yeah, and fortunately, uh, we are going to see that begin to break up some. Good news with that. Let's go ahead and talk about this as we uh, look to tomorrow morning. You're looking at... You know, a cloud sun mix out there, some areas of fog, and some of that fog may be pretty thick. What will happen is where the sky clears tonight, that allows temperatures to drop enough where you get fog formation, so it kind of balances everything back out. But by the middle of the day, more sunshine. There's still going to be some clouds, especially as we look to eastern Kentucky. Temperatures will be close to 80. Latter part of the day, about normal, mid-80s. That's right where we should be. Any rain chances, I think, are going to be more east of I-75 compared to areas to the west. And even tomorrow, they're just going to be spotty showers. Max Track Live Doppler tonight looks this way. Not much. We saw pop up thunder showers today. We'll have pop up thunder showers tomorrow and really into the weekend as well. When you see the eight day, there's going to be a whole lot of 20% on there. We call that the silent 20. It's where, okay, if a, if a thunder shower happens, it's not a surprise, but it's not a big enough chance where you're, you're making a big deal like, oh my gosh, we got rain every day. It's going to be here and there and a lot of space in between. Tonight, it's just ground clutter showing up. So, we've got tomorrow and Saturday. Pretty good late summer weather. A little more sunshine. It stays warm and humid. Our more typical summer forecast Sunday, where that rain chance may scooch up just a little. So, call it partly sunny, hot and humid, scattered afternoon thunderstorms, high around 90. A forecast you could say just about any day during the summer, at least most normal summers. Next week really does turn kind of wet and muggy for us. We did make 80 today, so if you want to be happy about that, we are still below normal. Mid 80s tomorrow, same ballpark on Saturday. A little warmer Sunday and Monday as we flirt with 90. By the way, we've not had a 90 degree day since July the 14th. Upper 60s, low 70s now as we look across the area, including 71 in London, 72 in Moorhead, 72 in Frankfurt, but it's only 68 in Danville and Somerset and Mount <coughs> Sterling. Wanted to show you out here toward Lynchburg, Virginia. Reason why is they've had wave after wave of rain. Now they have been inundated with heavy rain, not only today, but through this week as well. The dam that's just outside of Lynchburg, which is out College Lake, is uh, threatening imminent failure. And so they've evacuated areas downstream from that in Lynchburg. So again, more rain for those folks. Where'd all this come from? We go to the big picture here. We can trace the rain all the way, it goes from well, Canada down to the Caribbean and the equatorial Pacific. It's just a constant stream that has been there now for several days. We're bringing tropical moisture up, and it just rains a bunch. Our future satellite, we have some fog and clouds around early tomorrow. As we get to the end of the day, we get a lot of that low clouds out of here. We may see some high, thin cloud stream pass. You notice eastern Kentucky, we're going to hold on to that little bit more of a high overcast that will be in place for a good chunk of the day. But a lot of us will see more sunshine. Cold front. It's going to try and make a little run at us over the weekend. Meanwhile, more rain heads to areas of the Carolinas and Virginia. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, cold fronts approaching the Ohio River. Could see a shower from it, maybe, but it's an isolated chance. The front's going to get to us in about, you know, I'll say, Saturday morning, and then essentially die out, and a warm front will take its place, and we get warmer and muggier on Sunday. Partly to mostly cloudy, patchy fog out there tonight. We drop down to the mid-60s tomorrow, becoming partly sunny, warmer, and a humid day. Highs will be in the mid-80s. We continue to Saturday. Pretty good looking day, mid-80s. Nice way to finish up for the Kentucky Bank Tennis Tournament. Sunday, we're close to 90. Better rain chances middle of next week.